Hey, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am super excited that you have joined me for another week. This is such a corporate intro. Like, am I at work? No. I'm <laughs> Jesus, help me. It was friendship when we got all of our blood and become hot. Okay, so we are back and we're better. I want your baddest ever. Ain't no Bryce and Tilla. That was actually Laurel and um, Aldre, Artist Reaching Christ. I'm going to link that below because if you've been in your feelings about some bust ahead, do. And I'm not here to man bash. That's not what I'm doing. I'm not here to man bash. I love men. You love men. And that's great. But what I'm saying is we don't all dealt with those really toxic Guys, that we don't have no business dealing with this. So, with that being said, you need to go ahead and. You lost your direction, baby. You just want affection. Okay, okay, I'm done. But seriously, it is week two of our single ladies boo camp, and this week, um, I'm actually going to give y'all some direct responses based off of questions that were um, given to me last four we do this I really 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 want to tell y'all a fun fact about me because last week I did so why not keep it going last week the fun fact was that I love raisin bran and I'm looking at them if you're wondering like why is she looking up there it's because I love raisin bran um today's fun fact is that I also love Broadway musicals I have this really crazy dream in the back of my head that one day I'm gonna go on Broadway now that we did not come here for that Okay, but yeah, so fun fact. Um, but I really want to just, you know, enter into prayer, of course, because we love to pray here, right? And if we're going to be going deeper and on this journey with God, discovering who we truly are, you know, but, but wait, yes, discovering who we truly are. I think that's that's the biggest thing um, on this journey with Christ is learning that I was saved from my sin i was saved from toxic behavior traits i was saved from pain from the past and just different generational curses and and i'm not perfect okay i'm still struggling with some things and god is still restoring me and we will talk about those things later but what i'm saying is i am still who i am god created me this way i am made in the image of god in his likeness amen I am also created with a very special purpose. And before I was formed in my mother's womb, God knew me. He knew who I would be. Um, but yeah, I want to just pray. That was the whole point of all of this. Okay. So dear Heavenly Father, we come to you in the name of Jesus. We give you thanks, Father God, for just developing, Lord God, this community, Lord God, of people who want to be um, or require to be, in my case, single. Um, and just, Lord God actually just developing a more intimate relationship with you father god that we are not alone father god because your word says that you will never leave us or forsake us father god but we are covered by the blood of jesus we are owning who we uh, are lord god and you boldly and confidently father god and that you just help us lord god to be free just to be free lord god let this be a time of liberation and freedom in christ lord god in the name of jesus we decree and declare we believe lord god that no weapon formed against us shall prosper and we believe lord god that you're going to have your way in this cause so let me speak whatever you want me to speak and let me not hold back in the name of jesus we pray amen amen so we're going to get to these questions um do you consider yourself spiritual no do you consider yourself religious? No. Here's why. I believe that spirituality, yes, you know, there is a spiritual realm. However, I think that our generation, I'm 24 by the way, I think that our generation has like either over-spiritualized the word spiritual or we have demonized the word spiritual. And for me, I'm very, very careful 
about how I use words, not just because I'm walking on eggshells to make sure everybody else is cool, but it's more so like, I think that it can be easily uh, tilted into uh, vibrations and, and like vibes and uh, crystals and spirituality and being one with the earth and, you know, being connected to a higher source or high, higher power. And there is only one God. And okay. So with that being said, if there shall be no gods before our Lord and our Savior, then I'm not going to sit here and freely worship like other gods, you know, and call myself spiritual because I feel like I'm connected to my ancestors or because I feel like I'm connected to a higher power or because I have energy from my crystals. I'm just not going to do that. So the reason I don't say I'm spiritual is because, um, I don't like the negative connotation attached to that in a sense. Uh, yeah, I really think that's, <laughs> that's, that's pretty much it. Like how, how can I better describe this is simply, you know, relying on what the word says about this, what the word says about this. I don't know. That's why we're doing this video and that's why we're going deeper. So if I don't know a scripture or if I don't, for instance, this, what does the Bible say about spirituality? I know that the Bible talks about spiritual beings. I know that we are spiritual beings. I know that the Bible talks about um, the spiritual realm and things like that. So I do believe that it does exist, but I personally do not call myself spiritual. And that is because I call myself a Christian. I call myself a believer and a follower of Jesus Christ. So it's not so much about the title, it's more so about your lifestyle. How are you living? I'm glad that I was able to have this moment on camera and I'm not gonna cut it out because it's as simple as that. If there is something you wanna know about the word of God or something you wanna know about your relationship with God, you can literally click, go on Google and say, what does the Bible say about stressing? What does the Bible say about homosexuality? What does the Bible say about confusion? What does the Bible say about demons? What does the Bible say about angels? Like all the questions you have are in the word of God, but you have to be willing to search for the truth and you have to be willing to obey and believe the truth. Believe the truth about what the word of God says. When you confess with your mouth, believe in your heart uh, that Jesus is Lord and, and amen, you believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead just for you and for your sins, then you're saved. That's what the word of God says. But after that comes obedience. After that comes, you know, really um, that revelation, knowledge, and wisdom about who you are in Christ and who God called you to be. And then he'll begin to strip you. He'll begin to mold you. And, you know, we're going to go back to the, 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 the question. The, 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 the. Anyway, um, so no, I am not spiritual. No, I am not religious. Christianity is a religion, yes. Yes, that's the truth of the matter. So yes, I am a Christian, but I consider myself to have a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. So I don't consider it religion. I don't consider it tradition. I don't consider it, you know, being forced. I think that sometimes religion is forced. Like your parents were this or this was this and you got to be this. I was not forced into living a Christian lifestyle. I was not forced to believe in Jesus Christ. I had a, a an experience, a supernatural experience with Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior. And I said, Lord, you love me so much that I'm going to live for you. And that was that. And after that became a, a pruning and a sanctification process where he set me apart. And he told me, you know, more about my future and what I would be doing. It's like, it's a whole process. It's not something that happens overnight. Like there, there's a lot of pruning, development, and you're still, even when you get to a place, you're still going to be constantly maturing in the word. You're going to be constantly maturing in your walk with God. You're going to fall short. You're going to, you know, make mistakes. You're going to have these like different things come up because Satan don't want you to follow God. And that's the real deal. And one thing about us, what we're going to do on this video, anybody watching, we're going to know that we have an enemy. Who wants to see us lose but we're also going to know that we serve a god who wants to see us win and that's on period okay so we're going to go to the next question hallelujah praise the lord it's like no 
<laughs> when I say that, I really mean it. But it's just funny because, like, me and God laugh. And that's the thing about a relationship. When you have a relationship with God, he, he like, deals with you and he checks you. But he deals with you how he knows your personality is. So we laugh together. We dance together. People might think, like, I am buckwheat crazy. Because I will literally imaginary dance with Jesus. And I'm not doing it as a joke. It's because I truly believe in my heart that I'm having an intimate moment with the God who saved me. With the God who died for my sins on the cross. With the God that loved me so much that he sent his only son to die on the sins for my cross. Okay? I mean, on my cross. Oh, my God. Y'all know what I'm saying. Y'all know what I'm saying. John 3.16. Um, look, I know that one. <laughs> The next question is, do you think um, meditation is of God and do you think that people of God should do it? My answer is yes, absolutely. The word tells us to meditate on the word day and night. So the Bible also teaches us about meditation. Now, I think it's different in how you meditate. I, I think that's with anything. Like, how are you doing it? How are you using it? How are you honoring God? Because God created everything. You know what I'm saying? So are you honoring God with what he created? Or are you serving the thing he created? Or are you idolizing the thing he created? Or are you, you know what I'm saying? Like, are you like, oh, I'm meditating to be one with this? Or, you know, is it too close to witchcraft in a sense or are you you know honoring are you honoring god with what he created i think that's a, a question that you should ask yourself so when you're meditating are you meditating on the word of god are you meditating on his truth are you meditating on you know what the word says about you and your situation and that's important because you can meditate on something that's not of god so are you meditating on something very immoral are you meditating while you smoking weed? You feel me? Like, how are you going to sit here and say, oh, I'm honoring God with this meditation and I'm uh, I'm just, I don't know what y'all say these days. So, I don't know. I don't want to say anything weird that I shouldn't be saying. Actually, I don't care that much because I say weird things all the time. But, we used to say blow. So, I don't know if y'all still use the term blow. But, like, you can't be like, oh, like, I'm meditating and I'm blow. No, 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 no. You can't. We're not going to do both. Amen. I ain't going to say you can't because God is a wonderful God. But we're not going to do that. Okay. We are going to be pure. We are going to purify and sanctify our spirits in the name of Jesus. I believe that for any person watching this call, this video. Um, the next question is, how do you feel about crystals and stones? This is a good one, y'all, because honestly, if I'm being honest, I do believe that God created crystals and stones because when he created the earth and he said, let there be light and let there be this and let there be, you know, uh, uh, the greenery and everything like God literally created it all. But I will say God did not create the stones for you to place your value in. So when you're walking around with a stone cage and, and hold on, y'all, I could say this and I really want y'all to understand me. I used to walk around with a um, healing stone cage. I've gotten tarot readings. I've gotten Hindu readings. I've sat in the yard with Hindu, um, you know, religious people. And I've actually worshipped and sang to Krishna before. So please know that I'm not saying this to condemn anybody or just talk about how you live in. No, 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 no. I don't play with that. And let me tell you. You will find yourself in a very dark space when you're placing your value and your trust in those healing stones. Because here's the thing. God may have created the stones, but maybe he created them for you to just put them as decoration and say, oh, look what the Lord created. These are some beautiful stones. But he did not put those around your neck or he did not put those stones in your life for you to be like, oh, my energy is off because my vibrations is off and because, you know, my rose quartz is off, so I need a little more healing in my heart. Or, or you know, my energy is off because I'm missing this. Or if you don't have this, I'm like, no, no, no. no. All of that is just com a, a communion. We must need to take communion, psych. <laughs> Amen. We will take communion. Don't play. Because, like, I will literally take communion with you right now on this YouTube if God requires me to. But that causes confusion is what I was trying to say. You don't need confusion. God is not the author 
of confusion. So with that being said, um, you begin to worship those things and you begin to trade the truth for a lie. And we know who the liar is, right? Satan, if you didn't know. He's a liar. He a straight up liar. Like all he do is lie. La 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 la. Like that ex-boyfriend I always used to lie. Not saying that he's Satan in Jesus' name. He's not Satan. We don't call ex-boyfriend Satan here. This is a safe space. We're letting them go in the name of Jesus. But we will not call them Satan, okay? Because God still loves them too. Amen? And the next question is, when getting saved, was it hard to lose friends that were not a part of your calling? This 